five Rolling into that old cow town Them boys of mine We do it all the time Raising hell with them young girls' hearts Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the gifts represented in this room and those who support those gifts, God. Music truly is such a privilege and an honor. It brings light in dark places. It's a friend to the lonely. It breaks down walls of division that separate us. So tonight in this room, let your presence be felt. Let your heart, let your mercy, let your love, and let your light shine through every single person. Protect us, keep us safe, and may we laugh, may we have fun. May we enjoy one another and support each other. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Okay, we're going to get uh, ready to do something else that I think is a very good way to get things started. We're going to sing the national anthem. How fun is that? And important for us to do. Dennis Moore, Clayton, and Judy Cullen, take it away. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the Worth Stockyards, a legendary place known as the Wall Street of the West. Celebrating the history and inspired by the pioneering spirit, a new story unfolds. It begins with Mule Alley, beautifully restored horse and mule barns that are now home to a curated collection of heritage brands, restaurants, and entertainment. The crown jewel of the Stockyards, Hotel Drover, an autographed collection hotel offers a luxe Western retreat with four-star glitz. The swanky ranch atmosphere features 200 rustic luxe rooms, four bars including the Western Glam Lobby Bar, and 97 West with its Texas-inspired cuisine with an adventurous twist. Not to mention the backyard, an urban ranch oasis with a pool, lawn games, fire pits, and a live music stage. Book your legendary experience today. Hotel Drover, not just for cowboys. Well, guys, I want to welcome to the stage tonight the uh, president of marketing for Stockyard Heritage, Ethan Cartwright, and 2021 TCMA Showcase winner. They're going to talk about who's the showcase winner this year. Howdy, howdy, everybody. Hey, thanks so much for enjoying the Stockyards. I can't tell you how much time and effort we put behind trying to make the Stockyard something that's a memory for everyone. And, it's truly special to have so much music and so many talented people here in one weekend. So again, from Stockyards Heritage Development and Hotel Drover and all of the rest that we do here, thank you. 
Now I do want to turn it over to Bailey Ray. Bailey was our winner from uh, 2021 for the showdown, which is an eight band competition that we held all day yesterday on the lawns on exchange. We probably had somewhere in the neighborhood of 30,000 people enjoy everybody who played yesterday. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to Bailey Ray. All righty. They done trusted me with this. That make y'all nervous as much as it makes me nervous? All right, this year's Texas Country Music Showdown winner is Miss Billy Joe. Come on up here, girly. Oh, there she is. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. I didn't know where to go, so I was like running around the building trying to find it. Um, oh man, I don't know. I honestly wasn't expecting this, so I just want to thank TCMA so much for um, allowing artists such as myself to go out there and kind of show what we have with our bands. Um, everyone in that competition did amazing, so y'all give a round of applause to the 10 people that competed in the uh, country showdown. Um, thank you all. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much. I don't, I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. So welcome to the stage, our host for the evening, celebrated Texas singer-songwriter and TCMA spokesperson, Brandon Ryder, along with his co-host and on-air personality at 95.9 The Ranch, Malone Ranger. Give it up. What's up, everybody? How we doing tonight? Man, thank you all so much for showing up tonight. This is our sixth year, believe it or not, to do this event. The sixth year, I have been the host all six years. So give it up for me, please. Not only that, but uh, I am the spokesperson for the TCMAs, the Texas Country Music Awards. And I want you to know that I know that I'm that guy because I got this. He's been showing his belt it buckle says, all night. Uh, it says spokesperson on him, TCMAs, in case y'all can't read or you were looking elsewhere. We're glad to have you here tonight. Thank you so much. Number six is going to be the best one yet. We've got a lot of great artists that are going to be here um, that are going to be playing, going to be singing, going to be getting recognized. And uh, I get to do this all beside Malone. Thank y'all so much for being here. Y'all happy? Are you feeling good? All right, let's hear you. Come on now. God bless you. Thank you for showing up. So honored to be here with Brandon Ryder again this year. Never dreamed that they would ask me back, but it is wonderful to be here and see all your smiling faces. We have got such a great night in store for you. Are you ready to giddy up? Good, because this next band has been playing, releasing music since 1989. Ooh. Now, they played for a while. They each went on to have amazing individual careers. And then we got the great news back in 2021. They were reunited. And best news of all is they are here tonight. Please welcome McBride and the Ride. Woo! Today's the day I'm gonna make it Across that borderline I'm on You might not see which way I'm going Till I'm gone I'll be following my heart You'll be saying that I'm leaving No more feeling like a fool If I'm lying, then I'm dying No more crying over you No more crying over you All right
We said almost everything we could Except enough to make me stay Soon I'll be over you Tomorrow I'll be okay If I can just get past today You'll be seeing that I'm leaving No more feeling like a fool If I'm lying, then I'm dying No more crying, oh you No more crying Oh, you It's killing me What you've been putting me through Now I'm through Tonight there'll be no more crying on the back of that bronc. From the hills to the ranch, we got you covered. Because after all, it's you that makes Texas, well, Texas. We are NRS, the ones to keep you doing what you do best, making us all proud to be from Texas. Holy smokes, you see what I did there? That was McBride and the Ride. Boy, doesn't that take you back. Put your hands together for them, just amazing. Brandon, we have got a biggie right now. It's going good. We are going to find out who the Trailblazer of the Year is right now. To introduce the Trailblazer Award, our presenters are TCMA President Linda Wilson, and my friend, the host of Yellow Texas AC. Hi, everybody. Aaron and I are very, very excited to present the Trailblazer Award to my friend, Terry McBride. But before, but before we actually present him the award and um, give it to him and let him accept it, I want to ask how many of you are 90s country babies? Whoa! Okay, so how many of you gals just really had the hots for Terry McBride? Now before we go ahead and give him the presentation, the award, I want to tell you a little bit about Terry. Born and raised right here in Texas, Terry grew up in Lampasas where his love of music began. After receiving a guitar for his ninth birthday, it wasn't long before Terry was playing in local bands and spending summers on the road with his dad, the late Dale McBride. So after high school, Terry toured as part of the band before moving to Austin full time. And that's where he became a sought after bass player playing with several Texas artists, including Leroy Parnell, Johnny Duncan, and Delbert McClinton, among others. Then, in 1989, Terry traveled to Nashville, where the songs he wrote made their way to MCA president Tony Brown, and the rest is history. Terry's group, McBride and the Ride, recorded four albums, raking up several Number top five singles, including Sacred Ground, which went number one. Yeah, you could hoop and holler. And the band received CMA and ACM nominations. And as the story goes, McBride and the Ride disbanded in 1995. But guys, aren't you glad they're back? 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> and since then, Terry began to focus on songwriting and has cut songs with Garth Brooks, George Strait, Reba McIntyre, Hank Williams, Ronnie Dunn, Alan Jackson, and there's more. There's Trace Atkins, Kenny Rogers, John Anderson, and so, so many more. He has over 25 songs recorded by Brooks and Dunn, including one you may have heard of, Play Something Country, yeah. which he wrote with Ronnie Dunn and became the fastest rising single of Brooks and Dunn's career. So what a talent Terry is. Terry, you deserve this. Oh, thank you so much. And I got a cool belt buckle out of it as well, y'all. Oh, thank you so much. You know, like a lot of you guys in the crowd, I'm a proud Texan, and uh, it's an honor to be here tonight, surrounded by all this talent from Texas. I love it. I love being able to, you know, be, come down here and still tour in Texas. It's where I cut my teeth on everything, songwriting especially. My heroes all were just down the road from Lampasas in Austin, Jerry Jeff, Guy Clark, Rodney Crowell. Rusty Weir, Doug Somm, Gary P. Nunn, Ray Wiley Hubbard. And when I was in high school, I could get in my 72 Chevelle and be in Austin in about less than an hour back in those days, see all of those people and be back for football practice early in the morning the next day. So uh, I, I learned in, from some of the best. And uh, I think all I can tell you is uh, you just got to be prepared in this business for when opportunity comes knocking. And that's what I've always tried to do. My first co-write in Nashville was with Guy Clark, and I didn't sleep for several days. I had five ideas. Fortunately, he liked the first one I threw out. And then Guy said, uh, I like this song. And then the next thing he said was, do you want to get high? And I said, yes, sir. <laughs> and he set me on my way. He made me feel welcome that day. It made me feel like I was accepted. And I was uh, on a journey that continues to this day. And uh, I appreciate this. I'm honored. I'm honored to be a Texan. I'm honored to be in the music scene in Texas. And I'm thrilled to be back at Billy Bob's tonight with all of you guys. So thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, McBride of the Ride. Uh, man, what an honor. The Trailblazer Award every year is given to someone who has obviously blazed that trail. And uh, we're so honored to have you here and to uh, present that award to you tonight. Next, we are going to uh, do the Internet Radio Station of the Year Award, and our presenters are... Well, this is a very busy man. We have got, as one of our presenters, a professional photographer and co-owner of Generate Promotions, a radio promotion company, which is awesome, and Texas country and Americana artist, you may know, John Teague, to the stage. Good evening, Billy Bob's. All right, I have a confession to make. As you can see, I'm an old man. I didn't grow up with the internet, and here I am presenting an internet award. <laughs> My first experience with the internet was rolling down a Texas highway with somebody half my age, and he says, dude, I've got one bar. How many you got? I started rolling off all the dive bars that I could still get into. He says, no, no, dude, on your phone, how many bars you got? That was my introduction to the internet. So I feel like I've come a long way. You have, you have. Guys, in a, in a world headed toward arti you know, artificial intelligence and technological advances, there are those of us that inevitably have learned how to internet a lot better than the rest of us, including me. And it is an honor to present the award for the Internet Radio Station of the Year. All right, the, fi the finalists are Maiden Texas Radio. Pure Country 100. 
Come on, give it a little better than a smattering. Real Texas Radio. Uvalde Radio. And Texas 46 Radio. And the winner is... PureCountry100.com, Kenny Schlibley, the owner. Here we go. I'm accepting this award for Kenny. He was in an automobile accident on his way over here. He's going to be okay. He's an old hometown friend. I'm going to give this to him. Kenny Snibley. Come on, let me hear you, Billy Bob's Texas. This is so much fun. All right, next we have the Broadcast Personality of the Year Award. Our presenters are Texas country music artist and multi-year award finalist, Will Carter, and 2019 Male Artist of the Year, Zane Williams. Texas has no shortage of larger-than-life personalities that consistently turn us on to great new music like the Wilder Blue and the classics like Zane Williams. <laughs> You're doing a good job. <laughs> I have never been paid a dime just for my personality, so these people are the people you need to pay attention to. The Broadcast Personality of the Year finalists are Lisa Christie, Corliss, Justin McClure, Eric Rains, and Malone Ranger. All right, let's do this, Will. Let's give it, give it a second, let it breathe. And the winner is Malone, Malone Ranger. Ranger. Congrats, Malone. Well, this is awkward, but awesome. My goodness, thank y'all so much. We sure could not do what we do without all the Texas music support. Texas radio, we just appreciate all the fans and the artists so very much. And personally, thank you, thank you, thank you. And speaking of Texas music, we got even more happening right now. If you will flip around 180 degrees, you will see Donis, Donis Morass playing live for us. She ain't impressed with the one I like. Even you in bed. Fall short every time. No, there ain't a drink that you can buy. Take it from me. You want to try talking to you through the June box. Playing what her heart wants to hear. Dial it up a late night long shot. Catch your attention by catching her ear. When that needle drops down and the vinyl spins around, the only chance you've got is talking to you through the jukebox. Amarillo by morning, tequila sunrise. I fall to pieces General on my mind King of the road Set him up, Joe If she's singing along Then you'll know That you're talking to her Through the jukebox Playing what her heart wants to hear Dial it up a late night long shot Catch her attention by catching her ear 
When the needle drops down and the vinyl spins around, the only chance you've got is talking to you through the June box. Under the neon, backed up through a wall. Yeah, man, I played them all. Talking to you through the June box. Playing what her heart wants to hear. Now I went up a late night long shot. Catch her attention by catching her ear. When the needle drops down and the vinyl spins around, the only chance you've got is talking to you through the June box. Under the neon, backed up to a wall. Yeah, man, I played them all. Talking to you through the June box, playing what her heart wants to hear. Dial it up a late night long shot, catch her attention by catching her ear. When the needle drops down and the vinyl spins around, the only chance you've got. Is talking to you through the June box. Yeah, I'm talking to you through the June box. Yeah, I'm always talking to you through the June box. Thank you, guys. Made in Texas Radio would like to take this time to congratulate the nominees and winners of the 2022 TCMA Awards and take a moment to congratulate R. Keegan Lucas for his recent promotion to head of operations for all MITR programming. And coming in 2023, the premier content from Made in Texas Radio will be available to broadcast affiliates across the Lone Star State. If you're a radio station ready for Texas-sized results and Texas-sized revenue, contact Made in Texas Radio today. MadeInTexasRadio.com from RFC Media, Houston, Texas. Coming up next... The Terrestrial Radio Station of the Year Award. And our presenters are? Our presenters for this are, we have got Jim Nash, a guy I have known a long time. He is the Real Texas Morning Show co-host at 92.9 Shooter FM. And we've also got former Christian Country Artist of the Year and Minister Justin Todd Herod. This is for Young Artist Award presenters. Wow. Well, Jim, uh, I think they probably picked the right guys for this category because when I got off stage today at uh, about 1 o'clock, uh, <laughs> I felt my, knee, fan, my knees hurting, my ankles hurting, my back hurting because I'm I'm getting old. I mean, you, can you feel that way too? Oh, dude, every day. Well, I guess that's why we need to get some young blood in here, right? We got to have the young blood to keep the music moving, brother. Well, since you and I are going to do it, I'm going to let you tell everybody who the young artist, that's not us, obviously. No. The young artist of the year is. <laughs> Jim, go ahead and get her done, baby. And the nice. young artist of the year are the finalists are Allura Leonard. Hayden Hilliard, Sadie Lee, Maddie Rose, and I just learned this a while ago, L. Tanley. L. Tanley. I don't know where the winner is. Can you is. see that? I don't can know. You see it? Where's the winner at? And the winner is, if I can get it open, Maddie, Maddie Rose. Rose. Wow. <laughs> This is cool. I've never stood up here before. This is awesome. My heart's like beating really fast. But 
I just want to thank my family. I want to thank God. I want to thank the whole Texas Country Music Association, Monty Dawson, Linda Wilson, Richard Wilson. This is really cool. I'm like, I'm breathing really fast. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much. This is such a blessing. Thank you. Are we alive out there? Are we feeling good? <laughs> All right, so now, because I messed up on the previous one, I'm just letting y'all know. You I'm being this. honest about it, setting it up there. Um, I said the wrong thing. Now we're doing the Terrestrial Radio Station of the Year Award, and the presenters are. Well, first, we have Executive Director of Traction TX Chart, President of CDX Nashville, Joe Kelly, is presenting, and we have Ray Redding. That is the other half of Generate Radio Promotion. Come on up. Hey, everyone. It's an absolute pleasure for me to be presenting this award tonight with Joe Kelly. If you don't know Joe, Joe has done so many amazing things in the world of country music. You are too kind. You know, he, th this man right here has forgotten more about country music than most of us will ever know. But the one thing I always admire about Joe is I can name virtually any town or city in this country and he can give you the call letters of that station. <laughs> it's my one and only bar trick. <laughs> <laughs> we are here to uh, introduce the Terrestrial uh, Radio Station of the Year award winners, or finalists, and uh, ultimately cap on a, a winner. As you well know, radio is key to introducing new music to audiences and breaking artists in a big way. We are celebrating tonight Texas stations that are committed to playing Texas artists and helping them further and move along their careers. Radio is the number one driver of new music discovery, and it's a great honor to honor them. Uh, the, the finalists this year are 95.9 FM KFWR The Ranch here in Fort Worth. All right. 99.1 FM, Texas KNES Fairfield. 99.3 slash 98.5, Coke FM, Austin, Texas. 100.3 HD3 Kick FM, or not FM, 100.3 HD3 Kick, Houston. And the last finalist is 103.7 FM KAXA, The Buck in Kerrville. And the winner is? Let's say it together. All right. 100.3 HD3 KIKK. Y'all, my name is Nick Russo. I'm the brand manager for Kick FM. I want to say thank you so much to everyone at the uh, Texas CMAs for this honor, all the voters. We appreciate you. Uh, radio stations should reflect its audience, and it should lead its audience to the best version of themselves. Our moniker is Sounds Like Texas because that's the only way to explain what Texas country music is. It sounds like Texas. Thank you to all the artists who tell their stories through song. It's a pleasure to be an ambassador of this incredible format. It's a pleasure to be able to assist in creating more Texas country fans, and none of this is possible without our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless country music. Thank you, guys. that this man I'm about to introduce is in the house tonight. Country music is so lucky to have this legend. Put your hands together for Ricky Lynn Gregg. Thank you, Malone Ranger. Hey, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you a Texas best songwriter, singer, songwriter, a Billy Bob's Live alum and spokesperson for the Texas Country Music Association. 
Would you please give a big round of applause for fellow East Texan, Brandon Ryder. Just a little short. Y'all haven't met me yet. My name's Brandon Ryder. No? Y'all are sorry. Maybe get a drink or something. Let's go. I mean, they were asking me, they said, what are you going to play when you get up there? I'm like, I don't know. I think I'm going to play a new song. And we're like, uh, then I fall back right now. I, I really had no clue. Like, what am I going to play when I get up here? But I, I fall back on this with my, my good friend, Radney Foster. Y'all know Radney, right? Come on. And Radney said, when you're in a, a crowd of your peers and people who uh, listen to good music, you always play your hit songs. It's a beautiful morning Oh, to see the sunrise Yes, it's moments like this That make me wish That I could free springtime I got a hot cup of coffee Gonna watch the world come alive Oh, surrounded by nature Like on the innocence Of a newborn child Oh, sometimes Oh, we live Oh, and sometimes We pray Oh, some days it's hard For to figure out My way in this life Yes, it's moments like this that make me wish that I could freeze rain time. I got a picture in my pocket of my baby boy. Ah, uh, he's growing up so fast, I swear he thinks that he can conquer the world. I just yesterday evening he come running up to me He said he made his mama mad and now she said that he was just like me Yeah Should have seen the concern in that little boy's eyes. Yes, it's moments like this that made me wish I could freeze frame time. Tie me out to fly. You picked me up when I was down, turned me around, and you made me fly. I wear a little bit out of now. Together we've seen some change. But I love you more now. I ever did on that very first day. You know I do, baby. You know I love you. Oh, sometimes, 
how we live. Oh, and sometimes we cry. Oh, some days it's hard, hard to figure out our way in this life. But it's moments like this that make me wish. Yes, it's moments like this that make me wish. Yes, it's moments like this that make me wish. Out of freeze frame time. Out of freeze frame time. Always free spring time. Always free spring time. Y'all have a good night. Thank y'all so much. I'll see you again. You should be paid for the music and video you create. Download the Pickle Jar Live app and keep 100% of the money your fans sent. Connect with thousands of fans and venues supporting live music and entertainment. Plus, fans receive rewards when they tip you for a song request or send a shout out. It's totally free to you. No fees to the artist and automatic payouts within 48 hours. Claim your stage name and start making money the free way with Pickle Jar Live today. See, that's why they gave him the belt buckle. That was Brandon Ryder, who is Texas Country Music Award spokesman. He is also an incredible, as you just saw, singer-songwriter. He's a husband, he's a cook, he's a dad. He probably bobsleds, too. Just amazing. So thank you so much, Brandon. Now it is time to do the Christian Country Artist of the Year Award. And for this, we've got TCMA Vice President, Red Carpet Host, I hope you caught this earlier, and 2022 Award Sponsor, Owner of Cryofoam, Chris Young, and also Brian Martin, who along with his wife Sarah, they host a whole lot of music events in Northeast Oklahoma, and they are the owners of Red Dirt Ventures. All right. Well, what an exciting night. Everybody having a good time so far? Yeah, yep, absolutely. This is my friend Brian Martin. Super excited to be here to announce uh, the um, nominees and the winner for Christian Country Artist of the Year. You know, Texas has so many talented Christian country artists and songwriters, uh, and they just they provide us with inspiration. Uh, and, and, just, and just life in a lot of ways. A lot of these people that are nominated tonight, I know personally, and I'm super excited for them. Hopefully this award in this category will help us just shine a little bit of a light on the good work that these great people are doing. The Christian Country Artist of the Year finalists are, here we go, Chris. Uh, our finalists are, first up, Jason Allen. How about Kenny Cable? Curtis Grimes, Justin Todd Herod, and Crystal Yates. Woo. And your winner is Crystal Yates. Crystal Yates, congratulations. Thank you so much. This means a lot to me. I want to thank my sweet husband. He plays guitar with me. He puts up with me and he is a blessing in my life. My parents always taught me about Jesus and they sang country music to me. So it's natural for me to love country music and represent Christ out in this world because it's a dark place sometimes. And so I'm thankful to God because he saved a wretch like me. It changed my life, I'm not the same. And so I dedicate to this to him and I'm so grateful for him and the people that prayed for me as a young girl. They prayed for me, and that's why I'm here. God bless you guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. 
to everybody who was a part of this voting for so many weeks as this went on. Now, our presenters for this award, we have got somebody with a very big heart, Jimmy Rogers, who is the founder of Boots for Troops. So we thank you what, for what you do for our troops. Also, a guy that we have worked with quite a bit at the ranch, creative director with Visit Fort Worth. Please welcome Tom Martins. How's it going, everybody? Most of us have great memories about driving down the road, listening to our favorite new release from one of our favorite new artists. We are here to celebrate that feeling right now with the country single of the year. All right, Billy Bob, before we get to that, you guys know what this weekend is, right? Yeah. It's Veterans Day weekend. So let's give it up for all of our veterans in the house. Come on, y'all, make some noise for the veterans. Stand up for the veterans. Let's get some energy in here. All right. Thank you, veterans. We love you. Thank you for your service. We love you guys very much. The finalists for country single of the year are Cody Jinx, Mercy by Cody Jinx, When Love Comes Around, Wade Bowen, Unwanted Man, Aaron Watson, Wild Horses by Ken Fox featuring Terry McBride, Don't Want to Go Home by Teague Brother. And the winner is Wild Horses by Ken Folks featuring Terry McBride. Thank you guys so much. I was I was just backstage talking to Terry and he said he said he'd come out if we got it because this is his song he wrote and we uh, had the privilege to do a duet with him on it and cut it and, and uh, but I don't know if he can hear me, maybe not. But anyways, thank you guys so much. Thank you, Terry McBride. Thank you to our radio promotion team, Generate, Generate, and all the radio stations that played it. Oh my gosh, boys, this is crazy. <laughs> God bless Texas country music, right? Hey, hell yeah, baby. Woo! <laughs> Come on now, y'all give it up for Ken Foe. That is a great band. I've seen them uh, two or three times so far, and every time I've been more than pleased, man. They always rock it to the, to the nth degree, man. It's so much fun. Now we are about to introduce, and I don't get to say this very often, but the Badass of the Year Award. And now uh, we come to the portion of this year for this presentation. Mr. Ron Stone is the owner and creator of American Badass Whiskey. His company, Garage Oil Spirits, is dedicated to making one of the most exciting, best tasting liquor products ever produced. Ron and his team are committed to the mission of spreading hope, happiness, safety, and security through empowerment-focused charity work and needs awareness programs for both human and animal kind alike. And that being said, I want to say the word too. So the reason that Ron Stone created the Badass of the Year Award is to recognize and to celebrate those caring souls among us who have a mission to give of themselves for the purpose of making life a little better for their fellow man and of course for our four-legged friends. So ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together now and let's welcome to the stage Mr. Ron Stone. Yeah. Good Lord, I'm happy to be here. Man, oh man, you know, we're sponsoring the Texas Country Music Awards. Thank you, Linda. And uh, I'm up here in Fort Worth, Texas. I'm at Billy Bob's. I got a bottle of Garage Oil American Badass Whiskey in my hand. And I'm wearing fringe. I don't ever wear fringe. I've never worn fringe. But I'm wearing fringe for you folks tonight because you're all a bunch of badasses. So listen, that is true. Not only did we create the most bad, and you, if you haven't tried this, by the way, they got it at the bars, you gotta get you, get you some American badass whiskey. It, it's amazing, but during the process of making this brand and this company and this whiskey, I also said, we're gonna not just make whiskey, we're gonna make 
great things happen. And when you see American badass whiskey, the badass, it stands for greatness. It stands for people that take time out of their own lives to not only make their dreams come true and help their family, but to look around in the world and find ways that they can help out where there's needs. Kick in, do something great, make life better for someone else, because it'll make your life better too. It'll make the world a better place, which is really, isn't that what we're all here for, right? Like you guys play music so that we all feel good, right? And one of the other things about, about this is, when you're a badass, you know, not only is it just giving, but when you guys, especially independent music artists, when you're out there struggling, and we know how tough this business is, when you go out and do it, you show other people they can make their dreams come true. Don't you believe that, that you make other people believe in themselves because you went out and did it, and you're making your dreams come true? So we're giving away the Badass of the Year Award tonight, but I gotta tell you, I believe I'm sitting in a room full of badasses, am I? That's what I thought. All right. <laughs> Listen, you guys, this is a real bottle of American Badass Whiskey, and this is not the award. But I, I really wasn't ready to do this, but uh, now I'm ready. Woohoo! All right, listen, let's take a look at the actual award. Can somebody bring me out the American Badass Award, the Badass of the Year Award? Where's that at? Oh, look at that baby. Show it off over there. Show them people. All right, that's <laughs> nice. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is the award, and uh, I guess I'm not the only one wearing fringe tonight. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Ashley. I appreciate it. All right, guys, so let's do this. The winner tonight for the Badass of the Year Award, and by the way, we want to do this in many venues around the country, eventually around the world. We want to make sure that we recognize people who really went out and did some amazing things. So this award tonight is one of many that you'll see throughout the years. We hope to get this around everywhere. And we're so proud to be here, here at the Texas Country Music Awards doing this tonight. And I want to tell you who's getting this award tonight. If you all know him, great guy, Coffey Anderson is our recipient tonight for the Badass of the Year. And what that means is, is Coffey went out and he did things on a, he, he, he's the type of guy that he looks around and he makes sure he goes out and does something about it. If he some, sees a need, he does something about it. And there's a lot of things that he, that he gets involved in, helping old folks make sure they get meals on wheels, that sort of thing. But one of the things that really struck me and, and, and made me believe this is, this is his award tonight. You know, during that debacle when we pulled our military out of Afghanistan and 13 of our men and women and, and soldiers out there died, that was a travesty. Coffey, he decided to call up those folks and said, is there anything I can do to help? And six of those people responded. He, he went out to these funerals, played his beautiful song, Mr. Red, White, and Blue, which I'm sure you all know is a beautiful, yeah, give it up, because that's about sacrifice. That's about giving it for, giving your all for this country and for the love of this country and the love of your fellow man. And that is a beautiful song. So he went around on his own dime Went to, ended up getting to, able to go to six of these funerals, played that song, played some other music, gave his condolences, and just wanted to let those folks know that you and me and him, we're there listening, understanding what's going on, and want to recognize that their sacrifice did not go unnoticed, and that we love them, proud of them, and he is the type of person that gives out that kind of love, spent about, I guess, 30 grand of his own money just to fly around to go to these funerals to commiserate with these people and tell them that we love you and play Mr. Red, White, and Blue for them and let them know their sacrifice is something we all take to heart and we'll never, ever forget. So let me tell you something. Let's bring this young man up. Ladies and gentlemen, the badass of the year, Mr. Coffee Anderson. We are the land of the free because of the brave, make no mistake. We are the land of the free because of the brave, make no mistake. 
being the son of an Air Force veteran, even though mainstream media may try to divide us black versus white, my dad fought for three colors. It was red, it was white, and it was blue, and it takes all of us to keep it running. I'm not for everybody, and neither is Texas country. We're not for everybody, and that's fine. Neither is a Rolls Royce. Neither is a Mercedes Benz. Sometimes people have better taste, and that's where we step in. Keep having pride in where we're from. We have a Netflix reality show, and they used to make fun of me because I wore my cowboy hat everywhere I was. I said, everywhere I stand is Texas. Be proud of where you're from. And I thank God for this award. I thank God for y'all. And I thank God that I'm from the greatest state in the union and the greatest country on earth, hell or high water. Come on, come on. We were given a home away with Military Warrior Support Foundation in Abilene, Texas. And Sergeant Craig Cart came to get a key to a new home, tax-free, mortgage-free from me. And when the national anthem played that night, it was a very different look in his eye than everybody else in the room. I grabbed my guitar and I started walking around the arena. And this song came out. And no record label wanted to touch it at all. Good. Because they're going to look at L.A. and they're going to look at New York City, but there's a whole bunch of us that live in between that believe just like I wrote this. So here's Mr. Red, White, and Blue dedicated to every mama that's ever lent out her babies for the service of the greatest country on earth. It's the guts and it's the glory A hundred stripes, a hundred stories It's the pledge of allegiance on the 4th of July it's some handwritten letters from home. It's some sleepless nights alone. It's his newborn baby he left with his wife. It's Mr. Red, or White, and Blue. Lay down his life. Mr. Red, or White, and Blue. For these stars and stripes. From the fields of Indiana to the swamps of Louisiana. From good old Texas out to California Uncle Sam's the only family he's got His purple heart beat a wall star And his 18th birthday was the day he was born Mr. Red, oh, white, and blue Lay down his line Mr. Red, oh, white, and blue For these stars are strong was the man of the house when he was born. His family is proud, but they're torn. If you knew him, you would understand. We were raised on how to be brave, just to see our flag still wave. But then he came home with only one hand. He's Mr. Red, white, and blue. Lay down his life. White and blue. For these stars are trying, Mr. Riddle, white and blue. Stand on the front line. You'll pay the ultimate price, Mr. Riddle, white and blue. Lay down his land. To the U.S. Army, thank you. To the U.S. Navy, thank you. To my daddy's Air Force, thank you. To all the Marines, thank you. To the Coast Guard and Space Force, thank you as well. And to all of our first responders and our police officers, we back the blue around here too. Come on. Mr. Red, oh, white, and blue, lay down his life. White and blue, for these stars are straight.
is awesome. Are you ready to find out country album of the year? I don't, I'm not sure you're ready. Country album of the year! Our presenters tonight include uh, the guy you've seen on stage a couple of times already, a good friend of mine, a great producer, owns a studio in Gladewater, Texas. Uh, he's the record producing producer at Malden Productions and executive producer of the 2022 Texas Country Music Awards. He's been with us from the very beginning, uh, Mr. Chad Malden, and also welcoming to the stage, Texas singer-songwriter, uh, and, and nominee, Mr. Ryan Wilcox. Favorite Texas singer-songwriters, Ryan Wilcox, I'll tell you that much. Hey, let's say, look, do what? You got something good to say. He's gonna say something good here in a minute. I'd I, like, I really just asked how they were doing. There, yeah, that's a good question. How are y'all doing, by the way? Love to hear it, love to hear it. Let's say a little bit of some, uh, something about this category, Roots Alternative. I think it's important to note that we really appreciate at the TCMA the diversity uh, in what we call Texas music. Uh, there's a roots element, sometimes it's distinctly country, sometimes it kind of bleeds over into other categories, but it always has a roots base, and we appreciate that here. So without further ado, let's talk about who are the finalists for this category, Roots Alternative. All right, cool, so we're announcing Country Album of the Year. That's right, Country <laughs> Album of the Year, and by the way, I appreciate all that stuff about Roots Alternative, but Country Album of the Year is another thing, and that's yeah. important as well. And we're going to actually give that award out. Who are those finalists? All right, the finalists are Unwanted Man by Aaron Watson. Oh, yeah. There we go, my man. Mercy, Cody Jinks. Yep. We got the Wilder Blue, their self-titled album. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Built Different by Casey Donahue. Yep. And Baker Hotel by William Clark Green. Okay. So the big question is tonight, who is the winner of Country Album of the Year? I can't wait to find out. Ryan, can you help us? I already tore it open. You already tore it? The answer is just right here. What is it? Country Album of the Year goes to Unwanted Man by Aaron Watson. Whoa! Let's hear it for my man. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. And this was a blast making this record with Aaron. Now we flew in from uh, Portland this morning. Yeah, we did. So we were very tired and we've been drinking Red Bull all, all afternoon. Red Bull coffee. Yeah. So Aaron wanted to dedicate this award to Milo Deering. I know Milo's here somewhere. So this goes to Milo. And uh, Damien was introducing band members earlier and left one of us out. So take two. Sterling Massad, our utility player, who also has a new EP out. So go check that out on all streaming platforms. Thank you guys so much. Our next award is going to be for Live Music Venue of the Year. One of the things that is so wonderful about this Texas scene, the red dirt scene, our independent musically minds making this music is the fact that our fans, you are the fans, you are the ones who make all of this possible. You give us the resources, you give us the butts and seats to be able to make it down the road to the next gig. But man, do you have a live favorite venue that you love to go to? For example, let's just say Billy Bob's Texas. Come on now. For example. But the truth is, all across, when people ask me, what is your favorite venue to play? I always, I love the dance halls. I love the venues where people pack in. They get up close to the stage. They want to listen. They want to be a part of the experience and part of the night. And so it is with my honor that uh, we introduce this next award for live music venue of the year. And we are in one of the greatest at Billy Bob's, the world's largest honky talk. So our presenters for this, we have got, <laughs> we have got Jarrett Ray Reddick from Bowling for Soup. He's a rocker. How cool that? is that? 
And we have got the other half of somebody you've already met tonight, Jen Redding, who is a radio promoter, also a co-owner of Generate Radio Promotion Company. So give it up for these two. Let's go. Hi. Uh, just to clarify, uh, I'm in Bowling for Soup. I'm, I'm easily the fourth most famous person here tonight. And, uh, but I also am making my way into Texas country, and I appreciate everybody being so nice to me that I've met tonight. And uh, get up for Jen, who is having a big, big night tonight. Uh, where would we be without live music venues, right? We would be doing house parties. Those of you who have done those know how uncomfortable they can be. Um, Man, I've just had a flashback to one, sorry. I, and anyway, uh, but venues are important. They give us a place to play. Us musicians, they give you guys a place to gather and watch music. Uh, so let's do this. Let's give away the award for Live Music Venue of the Year. Woo! All right, the, she's gonna talk in a minute. She's just, not, okay. The finalists are I feel like this might be rigged. Uh, Billy Bob's Texas, Fort Worth. Uh, Green Hall, New Braunfels. Hanks, Texas, Grill and McKinney. Just go for Sh it. Just go for it. Shup's Barbecue in Belton. I'm trying to decide whether it was Shep's or Shup's. Schroeder Hall in Gilead. Yeah. You want me to say in the winner? Okay. okay. And the winner is. Shep's Barbecue in Belton, Texas. Yeah. Thank y'all very much. Um, Stacy and I, we have a barbecue restaurant in Belton, Texas. We've been known for our barbecue. We've been. We, we do that for a living. And uh, many of you guys out here played our venue, and uh, I wasn't expecting this tonight, so there's nothing really prepared, but when we bought our restaurant from my dad, he had piled ashes behind the restaurant for years. And the city came to us year one after we bought it and said, you need to clean that up. We said, all right, we cleaned it up, and we said, damn, this would make a great place to have concerts. So about 15 years later, and a whole bunch of concerts, we just won Live Music Venue of the Year. God bless y'all. Thank all of you. Thank you. I just, Ron, Ronnie and I are so honored to receive this award, and thank you all so much. And thank you, Billy Bob. Schrader Hall, since 1890, is a not-so-traditional dance hall. We're bringing dance halls back to every generation of Texans. We're a live music venue where you can sit back and have a cold beer or margarita. Get a gourmet burger or some brisket, all while listening to country, rock, Tejano, or any other variety of music from artists across Texas and the USA. Enjoy the charm of a rustic venue with all the modern amenities. We're not just a piece of Texas history, we're making history. All in a venue that's also family friendly. Find your good times at Schrader Hall. Open every Friday and Saturday night. Come see us soon at Schrader Hall. It's always good seeing friends uh, win and do well. Chef's Barbecue, Belton, Texas. I'm telling you, it's uh, some of, if not the best brisket I have ever had in my life. They've been working and building that dream uh, for a few years now, and it's good to see the success that they're selling out of meat every afternoon. Good friends, good people. Man, y'all give it up one more time, Chef's Barbecue. All right, now we're going to throw it uh, to the emerging artist stage, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to hear some more live music. Welcome to the stage, Mr. Jesse Robb Jr. Yeah. 
coffee black, whiskey straight, Merle Haggard, King James, backyard baseball, fishing with Grandpa. Oh, an old 85 Chevy, I can still turn a wrench on. Pure and simple things, the way they were meant to be. Don't get no better, oh, it's going to be that way forever. Perfect just the way God made them Don't add nothing but a name in Plain old t-shirt Worn out blue jeans Girl, you got them baby blue greens Looking right through me Porch swing kissing Dancing in the kitchen Well now all day Sunday on the couch with you Now that's living Pure and simple thing way they were meant to be Don't get no better Oh, it's gonna be that way forever just the way God made them Don't add nothing but an amen yeah. Somebody say amen in here From a fire in the fireplace To some blankets on the floor To just holding your hand at the grocery store Pure and simple things The way they were meant to be Don't get no better Oh, it's gonna be that way forever, yeah Perfect just the way God made them, yeah I said perfect just the way God made them, yeah. Make some noise in here. Perfect just the way God made them. Don't add nothing but an amen. Hey. Thank y'all so much. Jesse Robb Jr., how about that on the emerging artist stage? Well, a second ago, Brandon Ryder was talking about the dance halls. Does anybody here swing dance? Does anybody here wish they could swing dance? Well, now we have got the Western Swing Artist of the Year Award, and we have presenters. Our presenters are the Executive Vice President of the Texas Country Music Awards, Mr. Richard Wilson, and Clayton Cullen, Director of Event Services for Caltown Coliseum and producer of this Texas Country Music Award celebration. All right. Up next is a category for a genre of music that is near and dear to my heart. It's called Western Swing. What do y'all think? Come on. If we didn't have Western Swing, we wouldn't have Texas music. Ready? So how many of you know what makes up Western Swing? Let me give you the recipe. If you take about 75% country music and about 25% jazz, mix it all up together, you're gonna to come up with Western Swing. And we've got the finalists right now for Western Swing Artist of the Year. The finalists are Bobby Flores and the Yellow Rose Band. For those of you that may not know, Bobby Flores passed away in June of this year. Billy Mata and Texas Tradition. 
Got some fans here. Brennan Lee, the Broken Spokes, and Jody Nix and the Texas Cowboys. Richard, who's the winner? Is that, no. Open it. Okay. And the winner is the Broken Spokes. Wow. That was, that was not necessarily expected, man. Thank you guys so much. We wanted to start, honestly, and he had mentioned, we want to think and think about Bobby Flores. The man is a legend. And without him, none of us would be here. Um, we want to thank everybody who voted, obviously. Our boy, Rob Marshall, who kind of championed that deal. Thank you, Rob, for helping us with that. We want to thank all the people behind the scenes that are working their tail off to make this happen. Uh, Jen and Ray Redding at Generate Promotion. Ashley and Jody at Encore Music Group. All the people, um, AYS Live Sound, Stormy Cooper Media, all the people that have really helped make this possible, man. Thank you so much. This is really cool. Hopefully we will see you all in 2023. Thank you. Pretty crazy, huh? <laughs> There's my boy. Thank you, Lyndon. We love you too, buddy. Thank you. Well, one thing we do really well in Texas, I mean, we do a lot of things well, but you gotta love a showdown. Now, as we know, Billy Joe won the showdown this year. Well, last year, 2021, a lady named Bailey Ray won it, and she also did very well on The Voice, so we thought you might like to hear her sing. Put your hands together for Bailey Ray. Lord, that was a little tall. Well, I'm so excited to be here with you guys tonight. I'm going to do this one. This one's called Gypsy Cowboy. This is my release in 2021. It goes like this. Like a cowboy loves a range, wide open field, simple things. Quiet spaces where tall grass blows, there's no roads where he roams. I wish I could be like that. What? Gypsy cowboy, come and find me So I could pull these fences behind me Hey, gypsy cowboy, life's got me down Wanna wake up every day in a new town Different sunrise, same old sky Nothing but you by my side Oh, I'm ready to ride Gypsy cowboy There's too much light here, I miss the stars I can't see them from my backyard The pace is faster, let's take it slow Where there's concrete, nothing grows Oh, I'd rather be somewhere wild and free Hey, gypsy cowboy, come and find me I could pull these fences behind me Hey, gypsy cowboy, life's got me down Wanna wake up every day in a new town Different sunrise, same old sky Nothing but you by my side Oh, I'm ready to ride Gypsy cowboy Gonna leave it New horizons we will find Oh, just be mine Hey, gypsy cowboy, come and find me Or I could pull these fences behind me Hey, gypsy cowboy, life's got me down Wanna wake up every day in a new town Different sunrise, same old sky Nothing but you by my side Oh, I'm ready to ride Gypsy Cowboy Come and find me Gypsy Cowboy Wild and free Thank 
thank y'all so much. Thank you. Have we had a chance to uh, go get anything to eat tonight? Have we been to the Honky Tonk Kitchen at Billy Bob's, Texas? I mean, the only thing better than a great live music venue is a great live music venue that serves really good food. They have a lot of choices. Make sure if you're hungry and you have not, that you go back there and get you some Honky Tonk Kitchen. <laughs> There's also the Billy Bob's store here where you can get memorabilia. I believe it's way back there. Or there. Oh, wait. Store that way, Honky Tonk Kitchen that way. Now, just to check in all the places you've hit, did you know that Billy Bob's Texas has some great bars too? Anybody hit those tonight? Okay, we didn't Anybody hit that. the bars tonight? Over there, or over there, or over there, or back there, or right there, or, no? Man, y'all are a good Sunday crowd. <laughs> Well, it is time for another award. We are doing the Roots Alternative Award presenters right now. Absolutely, and uh, this next presenter, both of them are, are two of my favorites. Uh, I have had the pleasure of working with Milo during, on a couple of different projects, uh, my last couple of records through Chad Malden Productions. Uh, he is so super talented in so many if it has strings on it, he can play it. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so we got Milo Deering coming up and also my great friend from Shooter FM in Waco, Texas, red carpet host, Mr. Jim Nash. Well, I'll tell you what, when I was told earlier today that I was gonna be on the stage with Milo Deering, I just about had my knees fall out from under me. You know, I tell you what, Roots in Americana music has really taken a new groove in country music these days, in the Texas music scene especially. A lot of the groups that are in Texas music are also in the Americana side, in the Roots on alternative side of country music. And they all go hand in hand, y'all, because it all comes from Texas, and it's all great music. So, the Roots alternative Artists of the Year nominees are? Here we go. The finalists are Giovanni and the Hired Guns, Ryan Wilcox and the Sunday Shakes, Teague Brothers, The Wilder Blue, and Zach Bryan. All right, Milo, who's the winner? The winner is The, the Wilder, Wilder Blue. Blue. Hey y'all, the life I love is making music with my friends. These are my friends, Sean Rodriguez, Andy Rogers, Lyndon Hughes, and Paul Eason, ladies and gentlemen. And we gotta give a shout out to our main man, Mr. Sean Reeder, out there in the audience. We couldn't do it without Sean. Big Red, baby. Devin Garcia helping us out at the merch booth. And uh, just to everybody that's ever bought a ticket or a, or a t-shirt or climbed underneath the bus to help us fix the generator. Yes. Uh, we love you and we love being a part of this Texas music scene. We're very proud to be here. Yes. Again, the Wilder Blue. If you have not got a record of theirs, they, I, they have two fantastic records out. I mean, they are over the top fantastic and I'm so happy to see them win that award. Now we're going to throw it over to the Emerging Artist Stage. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, Mr. Matt Daniel. Can't find no peace of mind You've been running around with an old friend of mine I can't eat I 
Can't save my heart So damn lonesome It's forgetting to be Like a drum With no rhythm, y'all Don't go telling me The sky is blue When he starts Running round on you It's about the time the clouds roll in You pour your heart on me again I called the storm before it began Girl, I ain't your weatherman Forecast is calling for more of the same Tears are gonna fall and your hearts are gonna break Like a dam, way up down, what a mess that'll make When the thunder gets a rolling and I ain't there to hold Your world's going great and you're left out in the cold Growing old, well I hate to say I told you so Don't go telling me the sky is blue When he starts running round on you It's about the time that the clouds roll in You pour your heart on me again I called the storm before it began Girl, I ain't your weatherman You pour your heart on me again I called the storm before it began Girl, I ain't your weatherman No, I ain't your weatherman Thank you all very much. Ginger Roots Boutique, ranch raised and red dirt inspired. Visit gingerrootsboutique.com for original tees, tanks, and hats for both men and women designed exclusively for the GRB brand, as well as handcrafted jewelry made right here in Texas. Find anything a country girl needs from tops and dresses and jeans to boots, bags, decor, and more. Ginger Roots Boutique was founded in small town Central Texas out of love for God, family, ranching, and fashion, and proudly supports Texas country and red dirt music. GingerRootsBoutique.com, proud sponsor of the 2020 Texas Country Music Awards. Billy Bob's Texas, having some drinks, watching some live music, giving out some awards. Are we having a good time tonight? That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Matt Daniel. That was absolutely awesome. And now we get to find out the Country Band of the Year. Our presenters are the TCMA Vice President, Artist, Photographer, Social Media Manager, the beautiful Courtney Ritter, and representing our first responders. I'm not even kidding. We're welcoming Sheriff Cutter Clinton to the stage. I worked for his grandfather years ago. It's so amazing to me that he's here and he's the sheriff of Panola County where I grew up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcoming Courtney Ritter and Cutter Clinton. So there's a song that everybody probably knows by our uh, host, Mr. Brandon Ryder, Backroads. Yeah. And there's a line in it that says, there's a party at the dead end road. We're just hoping that the cops don't show. Well, I'm at least here and I think there's probably some others out there and uh, one thing the Texas Country Music Association wanted to do uh, was pay some respect to the first responders. 
So if you're a firefighter, if you're emergency medical, uh, or if you're a fellow lawman like me, please stand up at this time. I am not a music man, uh, I am a lawman. I tried to play the guitar, I tried to sing and it didn't work. My grandfather was a very good musician and he told me there is nothing wrong with being a music appreciator. And I've been very appreciative of all the talent that we've seen tonight. Um, and what we're gonna be doing is presenting the country band of the year. Now somebody winning this as an individual, that's, that is very special. There's nothing to be taken away from that. But what's special about the country band of the year is that several individuals, several personalities coming together and being a team and creating something beautiful that we can enjoy. Uh, and so that is, that's what's special about a band. So without further ado, uh, my lovely co-presenter, Mrs. Courtney Ritter, is going to be uh, reading off the finalists. And the finalists for country band of the year are Will Carter Band. The Chad Cook Band, Ken Foe, Mickey and the Motor Cars, and the Wilder Blue. And the winner oh, is Chad, Chad Cook, Cook Band. Band. Well, this is great. First off, I want to thank Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ. And uh, I'm blessed to have a band that is not just my band, but my brothers. And uh, I couldn't do it without these guys. And uh, we got a good group of people that were nominated for this. So I'm just, I'm happy to be here. I don't know if we deserve it, but thank y'all so much. You guys want to say something? Just a big shout out to everybody that was nominated in this category. There are truly some amazing bands in this, in this music industry. And uh, thank you guys so much. This means everything. Thank y'all so much. Here's the Texas country music. We love you. Our next award is for Male Artist of the Year. Y'all are in trouble here because our presenters, you never know what is gonna happen when these two ladies get together. So watch out, come to the stage. All I saw was a flash of sequin and elbows and hairspray backstage. Please welcome reigning Female Artist of the Year and 2022 Female Artist of the Year finalist, Brie Bagwell, and Sarah Hobbs, also 2022 Female Artist of the Year finalist. Are they gonna brawl? Yeah, no, the Male Artist of the Year introduced by two heavy hitters from the Texas country music scene. Two beautiful ladies, let's go. <clears throat> That's right. <clears throat> I feel like you should do your uh, sexy voice, Sarah. Like the sexy East Texas voice. Let's do it. Yeah, okay, I like it. You first. You were gonna go first. <laughs> nope. You literally were Texas has no shortage of talented and inspiring male artists. So many, oh, that's your turn. It's fine. This actually works perfectly. Super sorry. It's fine. Forgive me. So many of these guys have been putting on great shows and bringing joy to a lot of people this year. With that said, oh, well, with that said, I'm, I'm just going to put it out there. This one, Miss Bree Bagwell, will be here at Billy Bob's December 22nd. I'm just saying. <laughs> But 
Shameless best friend plug. I, subliminal messages. <laughs> With that said, Male Artist of the Year finalists are... Ward Davis, Hayden Haddock, Creed Fisher, Zach Neal, and Darren Morris. Ooh. And the winner is, you do it. I'm nervous. Caitlin Butts. That's wrong. That's not right. I love her. I know. Zach Neal. Hey, All right. Ooh. Wow. Uh, this is a real honor. Uh, thank you very much, TCMAs. Uh, there's several people that I got to make sure I give some shout outs to that uh, are the reason I'm here. Uh, first of all, to my wife and my son at home. I love them. Thank you very much. Uh, for all the time I get to spend away from them, so thank you. Uh, Tom Chaney, I got to give you, uh, you've been a believer and a supporter for a long time. Thank you very much. Uh, Jen and Ray Redding, for all that you have done. Y'all are the best. Thank you very much. And to uh, Texas Radio, uh, we put the first single out three weeks before COVID kind of shut everything down. Uh, so we got off to kind of an interesting start, but it's been great ever since. And I'm very grateful uh, to you, Amy Barnett. Thank you very much for everything you do. And uh, to Texas Radio, to everybody that's come to shows, bought merch, shared the songs. I appreciate that very much. Thank you very much, everybody. All right, every time that you guys turn around 180 degrees and you see an artist on our Emerging Artist stage, that artist is up for Emerging Artist of the Year Award. And we are up to our next one. So turn yourself around. Don't do the hokey pokey, but clap for Kate Watson. Hey y'all, my name is Kate Watson, and I'm so excited to sing this song for y'all tonight. It's just basically an introduction to me saying, hey y'all, I'm a country girl, but I can hang with the guys too. This is Cinderella Slipper. That shines as I'm high heel shoes. Oh Lord, don't get me wrong, there ain't no substitute for a pair of jeans and some cowboy boots. Cause once you get to know me, I'm a back boys go hard. Don't you push me too far. Call you shot dead. I never miss a bullseye, girl. But the Cinderella slippers still fits. Now my heart Button, country boy, love and duct tape chains are. I'm just saying, hey, y'all, girl, but the Cinderella slipper still fits. All the dance halls, pubs, and bars never dance with the stars. So, Fox Trot and Tango, I don't know. I ain't no party doll. I can still be the pound of the ball when I'm dancing the two step and cotton eye Joe. Cause once you get to know me, I'm a back boys go hard. Don't you push me too far. Girl, you shot dead. I never miss a bullseye. Girl, but the Cinderella slippers still fits. Now my hunting button, country boy, love and duct tape chainsaw. I'm just saying, hey, y'all, girl. But the Cinderella slippers still fits, and I'm a country girl. But the Cinderella slippers still fits. Dylan McConnell, y'all. All right, now I need everybody in this room. I need y'all's help. All right. All my country girls, all my country guys, let me hear you tonight. You're just gonna repeat after me, all right? All my country girls say, hey, y'all. 
hey y'all. All my country guys say, hey y'all. Hey y'all. All my country girls say, hey y'all. Hey y'all. All my country guys say, hey y'all. Cause I'm a backwards go hard, don't you push me too far. Call you shot dead, I never miss a bullseye, girl. Bought the Cinderella slippers, they all fit. And I'm a hunting, mudding, country boy, nothing. Duct tape, chainsaw, I'm just saying, hey, yo. Bought the Cinderella slippers, they all fit. And I'm a country girl. Bought the Cinderella slippers, they all fit. And I'm a country girl, but the Cinderella slippers still fits. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kate Watson on the Emerging Artist Stage. And now we are about to present the Emerging Artist Award. And our presenters are two of my boys who, uh, well, you've met one of them already. I don't think Eric's been up here yet, but I mean, we live in Central Texas. Anybody know where Salado, Texas is at? That's what I call home now. Um, two of our presenters here. One of them lives there, Coke FM. Uh, extraordinaire, great friend of mine, Mr. Eric Rains. And then once again, my good friends from the best barbecue around me, period, my good friend Ronnie Chef from Chef's Barbecue. You're just being cool because he's already got his belt buckle. Ronnie Chef's from Chef's Barbecue, live music venue of the year. Ronnie has decided that he's buying everybody in the bar tonight free drinks. Give him a big hand. That's right. Just walk up to the bar and say, this is on the Graphic Guitar Guys tab. Yeah. He's sitting right over there. Wave, everybody. There we go. Yeah, one drink, 3,000 straws. It is. My wife said I was done drinking beer, so I can only have a couple more. But, hey, this is a great award. And uh, we're, I'm excited about this. We got to listen to all the artists perform back here tonight. Every one of them were amazing. All of them are welcome to Chef's Backyard anytime they want. Obviously, they don't need us, but we'd love to have them. You know, you've got to play places like our venue and others before you can get on the Billy Bob stage. And I encourage everybody to always watch that band that plays first. The band that goes first is your future star. And there is no doubt. We watched Parker McCollum play six times at our place, and somebody said, you should get... And Ronnie only paid him 100 bucks for the record. I wasn't telling that part. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. No, he played six times at our place and he went first. And one day someone said, man, you ought to get that Parker McCollum kid to play your place. And I said he did six times for free for you to get in. So we're, we're always excited about that one that goes first. Emerging Artist of the Year, here we go. The finalists are Matt Daniel, big hand. Matt, where you at? All right. Donis Morris with the best jacket in the house tonight. Great beard, my friend Jesse Robb Jr. Great hair, Joshua Ray Walker. And you just heard her, Kate Watson. And the winner is, we don't have an envelope. They're going to have to bring it to us. Oh, we get, It's we that get anticipation. Do we get to pick? Oh, God. Because I would give it to everybody right now. But we're going to need, there's no flip it, dude. There, we need an envelope. This is an awkward, oh, it is That's right here. That's why he works in radio. The executive. And the winner is, and he's got a beautiful wife too, and she's here, and he's got the best jacket. Donis Morris, come on up. Woo! Do we have an award to get him, or what do we need? So my folks are here from Beaumont, Texas. They've been so supportive ever since I was a kid. Thank you so much. My wife, Miranda, she's here tonight. Uh, CDX Nashville. Bad Juju Records, TCMA, and everybody that voted for us. Thank you so much. We love you. Are you loving this? So glad you came out to the Texas Country Music 
awards and thanks so much to Billy Bob's for hosting us. Now, this is something I know everybody wants to know. And the question is, who is the female artist of the year? Well, see, I don't know, but the presenters know. So please welcome to the stage former entertainer of the year and Christian country artist of the year. He's got a lot of trophies. Curtis Grimes to the stage and, nope, this is not the former badass, this is our new badass of the year, Cafe Anderson. Uh, Texas has an exciting class of amazing female singer-songwriters that are working tirelessly, playing tons of great shows all year long. Tonight we honor just a few of these talented and inspirational ladies. The female artist of the year finalists are Morgan Ashley, Brie Bagwell, Caitlin Butts, Miss Kylie Fry, Sarah Hobbs. Do it. And the winner is Sarah, Sarah Hobbs. Well, I, had, I literally asked me and Brie were back there, and I was like, she can she come with me? <laughs> Thank y'all so much, obviously, of course. Thank you to the good Lord above. I appreciate that so much. Thank y'all so much. This is an incredible night. Like, what? I have no words. I am incredibly honored and grateful, and every single girl in this category are some of my absolute hands-down best friends. So... Absolutely, this is to absolutely all of y'all. So thank y'all so much. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm speechless. I've got no words. So thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all so much. Fans, TCMAs, I appreciate y'all so much. Y'all had the best and safest time tonight. Oh, I'm, I'm incredibly grateful. Thank y'all. Now it is time to introduce our presenters for the Entertainer of the Year Award. You know what this means? It's the Entertainer of the Year. It's close to the end of the list, right? We're almost there. The Entertainer of the Year, ladies. Yeah. So I'm getting all starstruck just looking at the presenters for this big award. We have got tonight's performer, who you haven't seen yet, but boy, you will. Texas country music star Roger Crager is presenting. And then there's this trailblazer here, 2022 trailblazer Terry McBride. To the stage, please. Well, 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 look at here. We don't know what we're doing. This is the big one, entertainer of the year. What do you say, Fort Worth? <laughs> you know, so many artists, they work day in and day out to bring the best music they can uh, as, as they travel around the state, but only a few of them get nominated for Entertainer of the Year. And that handful is Aaron Watson, Randall King, Creed Fisher, John Stork, and Ken Fo! Would you wow. like to do the honor, buddy? Well, thank you, Roger. I will. Let's see what happens right here. And the winner. And the winner is, drum roll, please. One, two, three. Creed, Creed Fisher! Fisher! <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Y'all make some noise out there, come on. Please welcome the stage, Roger Krager! Little more than a few old guns Had to down the line On 
stoned by my pen and papa. Now they're mine. And on the way to Utah, then back home to Texas again. It seemed Colorado, Wyoming, and a Grand Canyon. And honey trips in the freezing snow went out before the sun. But now they're a part of me, yeah, I got the gun. Too young, it died on the Corpus Christi Bay when I was one. A Christian man, I barely knew, but he was all so proud of me. He ran the nursery of the church for free. Two seventy that my dad fired once. Brought a mule 